how's it going? So upon my return from vacation, I decided to uh, make a new tank setup, uh, which would remind me of that vacation. Uh, so I made this um, 40 gallon, I believe, uh, and uh, I use mostly stuff that I brought back uh, from the ocean, which are the sea fans that we see right here. There's about seven of them, I think, um, or eight. Uh, I also brought back some rocks, some uh, seashells, and you know, some souvenirs. All that I was allowed to bring back, because obviously I had to declare what were all this extra weight in my luggage. So uh, yeah, so this setup reminds me a lot of that travel. So, And um, I set it up about a week ago, and I also received the fish then. Um, Obviously, I used a cycled media sponge and filtration. I have a small canister filter on this tank. Uh, let's come closer to see the inhabitants. So in this tank, I got um, three types of fish. Uh, I have some Neo Lamprula Goose Lullipi, Lullipi, featured right here. I got four of them. There is the other one. They really enjoy the sea fans, as you can see. They're cute as a button. So all four are right here now. Uh, also, I could only get one of them because only one was available. It's a gold oscillatus, which is a Tanganyikan uh, shell dweller. He's very adorable. I think it's a he, I'm not sure. He's very small, so. Whoever you are, <laughs> reveal yourself. He's very cute. Also in this tank, I got some chalochromis. Um, it's a sand dweller from Tanganyika. They get much more co colorful and much more beautiful. So I'll include a picture so you can see what they're gonna look like when they're adults. Also in this tank, this is not the only things I've got, or animals I got. Uh, I also got some ivory snails. They're currently eating everyone's food. I put like a block of frozen fish food and yeah, the ivory snails got it. I hope I can come close enough to show you the ivory snails. They're really cool and the cichlids don't bother them at all. At least for now, while they're babies, they don't seem to bother them at all. So these are the two. I have a third one in the corner. He's not quite as visible, so I'm just gonna let you watch these two for now. But also, yesterday uh, when I came back from work and noticed something really cool in the tank, at first I thought it was some corn or someone had vomited on the side of my tank. But no, it was not vomit. <laughs> we got here, I hope you can see it clearly, uh, maybe through here. Can you see that? This is snail eggs. Uh, I know that mystery snails, uh, well, all snails are hermaphrodite, that's number one, but mystery snails and apple snails and all those larger snails have to lay their eggs outside of the surface of the water so they don't rot and they all look kind of this shape. Uh, so if you have snails and you see these little bubbles, it's not herpes or anything, it's just snail eggs. So hopefully they hatch. I'm not sure yet if I want to keep them in this tank, but um, I'll see after they hatch how it goes with the fish. Anyways, I have about a hundred of them to hatch, so if a few get eaten, I'll have learned my lesson. Uh, who else is in here? Well, some of my chalochromis are kind of shy. Hold on, I'm trying to de-zoom a bit. Uh, for lighting, what am I using? I'm just using a regular LED from Amazon, really inexpensive. Uh, let me just show you. It's uh, this one. It's in, written in Chinese, so uh, yeah, don't expect me to translate. But uh, it's just a regular light from Amazon. Um, it's about a foot and a half. Something like they're very small, very cleverly made. You can change around the options, you can change around the light, uh, you can dim it, you can make it different colors. It's pretty cool. Right now, I dimmed it, so I have to <laughs> get it back to normal, as you can see. 
different options. Hold on, I'm just gonna de zoom and show you um, how this lighting can change. There you go. And if I press it all the way, I'm still trying. Uh, is that full on? No, I'm still missing one touch. Mm, still not fully on. There you go, now it's fully on. Alright, so uh, what am I expecting from this tank? I will get more of the shell dwellers, obviously, once they come back in stock. I got all these fish from uh, Jack Spencer Aficionado's website, or Uh He's my main supplier at the moment, just because I know that when fish come in, I won't have to quarantine, I won't have to deworm, I won't have to go through endless cycles of pain and you know <laughs> he's so cute his fish always come in clean healthy um honestly like really good supplier he's my favorite now like i still buy locally from some of my suppliers um when i really need fish especially like saltwater fish i buy them locally because he doesn't have any uh, but I really really enjoy it. and his stock list gets updated weekly and he has plants and it's a really really nice um, fish supplier if you're uh, in Canada and the US I'll put the link below and yeah you never have to worry with him like and sometimes he even adds one or two extras if you buy a big batch of fish just to make sure that if any die in the shipping you're not sad about it and you have an extra to replace it but so far, in the five times I order, I will maybe had like two neon tetras that never died. Everything always makes it in one piece, alive, and looking great. And yeah, everything always healthy. So that's my main thing with uh, this supplier. I really enjoy his stock list. And it's like everything from, um, you, you can have rare south americans like wild discus you can have rare tanganyikans all my rare stuff actually comes from him you know and uh endless african cichlids endless south american cichlids he has new world cichlids like madagascar like anything you can dream of at some point will come available so just keep an eye on his list and uh, you'll be very greatly surprised he also has snails and and um, food and things like that, you know, everything. So let me show you the whole entire tank. So you tell me what you think about it. And there you go. This is my newly set up tank. Um, it's not lighted too much because I don't want algae to grow on the white decoration, even though at some point I'm pretty sure they won't be white anymore, but it is what it is. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and please share your comments, like this video and subscribe. <laughs> Bye!